Hey guys, Pro have 2010 with you today, and today I'll be showing you how to create this kind of effect inside of Sony Vegas, so check it out. Okay, so you can see here that the muzzle flash is the muzzle flash is shooting out of the gun, and uh, the basic point here of this tutorial is to show you how to get, how to get the uh, the flash there and also for the sound. So I have provided the link in the video description for both of these. Now my uh, now my what's it called? Uh, my muzzle flashes came from this link here. I download them, and it turned out that it had a problem since. The background is not fully black, and, and uh, when you try to blend the modes together, uh, it doesn't turn out right. So I fixed it up inside of After Effects, and I do recommend you download my version, but the original website where the source I got the muzzle flashes from is in link in the video description. And there's 10 different types of muzzle flashes here, and also in my link that I, also in my version that I have modified from this. So. Be sure to, I mean, I, I strongly recommend you download my version since that's what's going to work or else you're going to have to fix it up yourself. So, to save you the trouble, uh, download my version. Okay, and you, I will also provide you with a link for the gunshot for the sound effect. So, here's what it sounds like. I'll play that again so you can... It's also in my example, duh. So, what you need to do now is go ahead and get get your raw footage of you shooting something. Now this isn't me. This is my guy. I don't know. I found him on YouTube, and he was just a raw footage of him shooting a gun. So this is the raw footage right here. And as you can see, nothing comes out at the other end of the gun. And we're going to fix that in just a little bit. You will need to go ahead and download the MP3 file, and you want to go ahead and bring that in. Bring that in, not bring bring that inside of uh, you can create a new layer below or you can just drag and drop it and it's gonna automatically create a new audio layer below your footage so if you play this back it, it doesn't sync at all it doesn't synchronize with the video or anything but uh, it's we're gonna fix that up just a bit later now I do want you to uh, take uh, take or use I do want you to take the advantage of this tool inside of Sony Vegas the mark tool so if you go ahead and if you play this video if you use your keyboard the mat uh, the arrows on your keyboard to scroll through the video you can see just when that when the back of the gun pops off so right there this is where we're going to insert our muzzle flash either here or there it doesn't matter and you do want to press M on your keyboard and it's going to create a little marker right here above the video and you do want to title that as muzzle flash here and basically that's just showing you where we're going to input our muzzle flash so what you want to do now is you want to basically put up your audio to begin if you look here this is where the wave begins as you can see anything that's just straight this is silence and this is where it begins so we want to align the beginning of this with the muzzle flash so if we play this back right now no muzzle flash but it does sound like it's synchronized with the video now the only way, to, the only thing we got to do now is we just got to insert our muzzle flash. Go ahead, right click and create a new video track. And you want to make sure that this track is above your raw footage. So let me just call this raw so that you will have a little bit of a better understanding of what I'm doing. So raw footage and above here is where we're going to input our muzzle flash. And this is our muzzle, our just gun audio. So here's our gun audio, here's our raw footage, and here is our going to be our muzzle flash. So go ahead and drag and drop your muzzle flash into the layer up here. And when you play this back with using your keyboard, you can see the different types of muzzle flashes. There's 10 different types here, and you can just scroll through and select which ones you like. So let me say that I like the first one better, so I'm just going to... Here's the first one, so we're going to be using this one. So anything beyond this, we're just going to trim it off right now. So it starts here and it ends somewhere here. So we could just press S on our keyboard to split this clip. And we just delete this one over there. So now we're just stuck with one, with just this part. So now we just know that this is the muzzle flash itself. And if we play this back, it looks very terrible. But don't worry, we're going to fix that up too. If you take a look at this, uh, our gun is pointed this way and our muzzle is the opposite direction so we're going to need to rotate this a way to do that is actually pressing on this track motion button over here on the side for the angle type in 180 and that's going to horizontally uh, flip this or if you type in negative 180 it's going to 
one's going to also, or not, no, 270 is the other one. No, not just, just do 180. Okay, good. I'm not good with my angles. I failed geometry. So, now that we have this figured out, you do want to go ahead and do one thing that's going to change everything. So, go, go here into your compositing mode and press on screen. And voila, all the black goes away. And if you would have downloaded the original footage, the black wouldn't go away. It would be like a grayish background, so it would look kind of messed up. So it has to be perfect black in order for it to blend like that. You can use, either use screen or over overlay, yes. No, not overlay, no, no, no. Screen or add. Yeah, add works too. And it's kind of a brighter of a color. Or just use screen. Alright, so what you want to do now is, just the point now, what we got to do is we just got to align these two. And by the way, you see our muzzle flash starts here. You want to go ahead and drag and drop your muzzle, or just drag it to the beginning of this. So you want everything aligned perfectly. So the audio is aligned with this marker and also the video. Uh, also, the muzzle is also aligned with this marker. And as you can see, the, the muzzle is a bit too large for, for this video here. So you want to press on this track motion button once again. And this time we're not going to mess with the angle, just leave the angle alone. Just want to grab a corner and just shrink this down just a little bit. And you also want to take the center point and you just want to move it off to the side. And you want to align it perfectly with the gun. And you can also use your keyboard to get a more perfect of a, uh, a more perfect of a rotation or so. Make sure this is unchecked because if you check snapping it's going to go all over the place. So make sure this is not checked. And Real, let me just realign this and as you can see the gun is a little bit of rotated so you may want to play around with the angle afterwards you want to just go to 185 kind of yeah kind of tilts to this side and exit out so now when we play our video back you can see that it works perfectly and I do want to give you some you can stop watching this video right now continue watching if you want me to go into a little bit more of a detail over here you can see that the muzzle flash is kind of boring, it's, it's just plain white. What you want to do to fix that is you can actually press on this effect back, uh, make sure that you're on the muzzle flash layer and press on this track effects button and let all the effects load. And afterwards you want to go to Sony Color Curves, right there. Press add and press OK. And you're going to have a menu like this which which lets you manage the, cur the color curves of this layer. You want to go ahead and select the, the red a little and you want to pump this up just a bit. And if you if you look closely, it's starting to get an orange color on its sides. So if we just keep on pumping that up, we, we get kind of a more realistic of a fire-ish uh, glow. So you can also go to the blue channel and just turn the blue down a little bit. That helps. And the, the green channel, just turn it down a little bit. Now it's kind of reddish on the sides and you may also want to turn the opacity maybe down to 80 or, or 90 depending on your effect and now if you play this back now uh, you if you don't see the muzzle flash here it's because of my my screen recorder it only, it only records like 15 frames per second that's in the options here I'm not sure let me yeah I think it well 30 frames I don't know it's just the frames might not be catching up with the video, so that's why you couldn't see it. But let me render this out so you guys can see. And by the way, when you render this out, make sure that your rendering settings match up with uh, your previous settings because what you may see here is different from what you're going to render. So I'm going to render. So to check that, you go to File, Option, Properties, and you can see your dimensions here. And so when you go to File, Render As, make sure that your rendering options are also the same 1280 by 720 and press OK and then you can press save thank you guys for watching my video if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below request a tutorial if you want to uh, you can send me either a personal message or you can leave a comment below rate comment subscribe and I'll see you guys peace out